Praise the Lord. Ereta Uzechi, Matthew 13, 15. Let's dive in. It says, For these people's heart is wask grows, and their eyes are dull of hearing, and their ears are their eyes they have closed. Least at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should ill dead if your eyes are gross your ears are gross everything about you you have tightened your heart you know there are three ways things get to us through our eyes through our our ears and through our hearts that is the only two way things apart from food get to us to understand the things of god so if you have closed all this way you would not understand but if you open up and say god open my eyes let me see that's why before you read the bible you say holy spirit open my eyes let me say what you want me to see Open my ears, let me hear from you. Give me a heart of understanding. That's why Jesus still, Jesus still said that the eyes have not seen, neither have the ears heard. Or has it come to the heart of a man? What God has in plan for us. So let us be open. Verse 16 says, But blessed are your eyes. Hallelujah. Blessed are my eyes. Blessed are your eyes. For they see and your ears for the year. Hallelujah. Verse 17. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see. Sometimes my son explains the Bible verse for me. I'll be surprised that how is he seen from that angle? That's why the word of God is new every day. I can read this Bible verse 10 times and tell you different things from different angles the Holy Spirit inspires. That's how beautiful it is. That's why they say they desire to, to see those things which you see. I have not seen them. And I to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. Hallelujah. Verse 18 says, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. Hallelujah. Abraham and Isaac, they'll be seated with God right now and be wondering that these people are living in a very conducive era. You know how you maybe when you were coming up, you suffered and God has blessed you this far. And you see your kids living in abundance because you God has blessed you. That is how it is to Abraham and Isaac. They'll be like, wow, it was difficult for us that time. God will speak with thunder. God will do this. Now look at these people. They are enjoying. God is even in their hearts. God can even hear God without God, even without you even talking. You can hear God from your mind, like the Spirit of the Lord has come upon them. You know that's how it is. We are in a better era where the blood speaks for us. And David saw this vision and he said, A man that God has not imputed his sin on every single day, his mercies are new. As long as we renew ourselves every single day, as long as we go closer to the Spirit, we die to the flesh instantly. The flesh cannot grow where the Spirit is growing. It's not possible. The it goes like this and like this once the spirit is growing the flesh is dying once the flesh is growing the spirit is dying so god bless you so much share subscribe let the word of god go out there you know this program is taught by the holy spirit but i'll try my best to make it as brief as possible so that you can go ahead and read it on your own let the spirit inspire to you in jesus name amen